In this video, I'll show you how to connect your scan data in, uh, in the scene software. You start by uh, creating a new project. And within the project, you'll be making a workspace. Here it is. And now I'll just uh, get my scans. These are the FLS files. I drag them into the viewport. And just uh, brings it in the workspace, and uh, then I'll save my file. So now the data has been loaded, and um, it's been saved to revision one. In order to um, connect the scans <coughs> or reference, uh, reference the geometry in the scans, you'd have to do a bit of pre-processing. And I'll ask the software to look for the spheres and for the checkerboards. And then I'll ask it to place the scans and press OK. So now the scans are being pre-processed and it will take, uh, take a while. Save the file again. Add a comment if you feel like. Okay, so let's uh, check the the quality of the scans. First of all, you can uh, you can look through the through each scan. If you take the plan of view. Here you see a panoramic uh, photo of uh, of the scan, and you see it's found one sphere. So let's go for the next one. So it located the spheres. Okay, so let's uh, check the, the quality of the, the, the precision of, of the, the scans and the alignment. And you'd look for the normalized tension in the scan fit properties. If this value is below 5, you're good to go. So I'll check just for all of the scans. This one is even better. Okay, everything looks just the way it's supposed to be. So I'll just uh, watch the 3D point cloud by clicking the 3D icon. So this is the scan. This is the raw scan data. No color has yet been applied. So in order to navigate, uh, I'll just change the rotation point. Okay, so this is now the center of rotation. You can uh, pan using the middle mouse button, and if you use a scroll wheel, you can zoom in and out. If I select locate square one, that's the scan, and this is the location of the scan. So I'll be in the position of the laser scanner at that uh, current position. So everything looks just nice. Let's add some colors. Just go for operations and uh, color pictures, apply pictures. And the scene software will now load in the color information based on the second uh, scan pass. And this is the final result.